Hello everybody, today we are going to speak about how to make procedural uh, content uh, in Unreal Engine and how to connect all of these uh, items to mesh like that and how to fill all of this mesh with all of this component and just with one click you can increase and decrease all of this uh, setting so uh, you can increase and decrease all of them so and you can control how many uh, mesh so before we start don't forget to subscribe for my channel and like for my video and let's get started so uh, first of all this is uh, 5.2 uh, unreal so now we are going to create new level like that okay so this is our new level uh, make sure we have uh, go to windows after that uh, edit plugin so pro sid ural okay uh, like that so choose this one procedural content generation framework after that we need to uh, restart our unreal engine so uh, after that now we are going to import any uh, mesh uh, uh, from uh, coastal bridge or if you have any uh, specific uh, mesh so i have this one okay wait a little bit local so this one okay download after that so we have this mesh if you insert it here so um, we are going to increase uh, decrease light a little bit after that we need to create a new folder okay here content a new folder a test to be in the front so right click and pcg procedural okay this is test vc test one okay CG test one three for example okay double click so now we have this option now we have this interface so I'm going to add a little bit nodes for this one so now mesh two point so this mesh two point so I'm going to which mesh we are going to add our tree or our plant um, or anything as you like this one this item so uh, we can search about this item here and drag and drop it here look here mesh two point what I'm going to drag and drop it here so now save and if you go to test this folder okay drag and drop procedural here now so there is nothing happened so if I need to uh, to see um, like preview right click and debug so this is our debug so but I need to make it here to be in the center so from here and from this one to be in the zero so all of this in the same place okay amazing next step we need to make choose normal to density okay and if you make it this one and one okay debug and we need to, to um look this one okay everything is working nice if you need to see more okay look everything is working so we need to make transfer point transfer points 
and we need to increase a little bit make variation to be 0.1 scale minimum and scale maximum for one point half okay after that we need to make static mesh okay static mesh spawner or maybe if you need to from mesh to point a static mesh okay you can do that but we need to make a scale and rotation and play with the size of our so that's why i choose transfer point and this is to uh, fall this mesh with uh, face uh, item okay now here we have a uh, mesh uh, entries so how many mesh we can add it here for example four or three uh, item uh, if we we can uh, come to this area okay we have our uh, documentation okay so now uh, I have a lot of uh, three plants you can download it from Quixel bridge uh, under 3d plants you can choose a lot of um, plants you can download it from here so uh, now just we are going to uh, choose some of them for example for example we can add this one this uh, here index okay this grabber here if you look here so it appear for me but I need to have a lot of mesh so this is first one we need to add second uh, second mesh maybe you can come here and we can add maybe this one okay if you look wow amazing amazing so for we can add another one maybe if you come here to this area this area which one which one which one so we, maybe we can uh, uh, choose this one okay okay drag and drop look wow so maybe we can add another one uh, maybe maybe we can add this okay force one uh this okay so nice after that just we need to play with a little bit with control uh with this uh, area so if you can uh this is if you come here i need just debug make sure disable or debug okay if we don't have a debug here okay now if you look just I need to close it a little bit okay now if you look here amazing so if you look for this area okay just density here just in one place and the sub place is full and uh, here we have a little bit place is not f uh, filling with that so uh, I'm going to add a little bit uh, node. So if you come here, okay. Now we can density noise noise. Okay. Just we can click here and disconnect it. Look now. All of them they are filled. All of them they are we have full uh, after uh, that if you need to increase and decrease some of them maybe you can add density filter filter okay filter okay now we have filter okay what filter is doing well if you look here for example i need to increase this tooling okay 
lower look if i need to increase it a little bit look here we can increase okay so amazing you can increase and decrease all of them all of this area uh, directional light maybe we can it make it okay nice look so we can increase a little bit and decrease all of them or you can from here from mesh point uh, maybe we can add uh, we need to increase the size transfer point we can add it to for example look really amazing but we didn't find uh, we, you can see the rook uh, but uh, very important to merge uh, all of them so maybe 1.2 okay or 1.5 okay so filter increase it a little bit so if you have uh, for example if you need to control all of them for just one, one click we need to uh, go to mesh two point and we have this option voxelize so this voxelize so you can increase and decrease all of them just we don't need any uh, all of them density and the filter just with one click you can control all of them so if you voxel size if you decrease it you will uh, make full uh, for example 15 50 okay if i make it 40 it will increase the number of the tree okay uh, if i make it 30 so look they are increasing the number of uh, those file but uh, make sure you have all of these items they uh, are the night because uh, if you didn't activate the light, maybe your, proje uh, your project crashed a huge number of Volagun. So uh, make sure you uh, you, uh, you uh, enabled the light. If you don't know how to make that, you make sure you go to 3D Planet and enable a static mesh from here. A static mesh and all of them right click and enable the light. Okay, enable the light because uh, or check. Uh, right from here to make sure your project is uh, good if you come here for example many can and we we have meshes here we can insert look and take your camera from here for example look amazing so uh, nice uh, we can make it 50 look so so nice so uh, this all uh, what you need to know uh, about procedural uh, so i have a lot of uh, idea we can uh, create it together uh, in another video uh, so uh, if this is the first time of my channel don't forget to subscribe for my channel and like for my video see you in the next video take care assalamu alaikum